They're collecting grass. And we smell like grass. So they think we're just another blade of grass. Of course they do. Wait, don't they eat grass? It's Jimmy! 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 I think he hears us. His music's too loud. Jimmy! Jimmy! We're down We're here! Down here. Oh, yeah. More smells in the house. Okay. Aviva? Anyone? They're gone. Hey! Ah! All right! <laughs> huh? Whoa. Sorry, Jay-Z. They're gone. Huh? Aviva and Koki? Are you sure? They always tell me when they're leaving. They know I panic. <gasps> Look at this. Someone spilled something. Savannah grass. The whole canister got knocked over, which knocked down the miniaturizer, and judging by the angle it's on, the beam was pointing right to... the puddle. <gasps> Footprints. Koki and Aviva. It gets worse. Look. Termite prints. What? Aha! Termites. Mystery solved. What? What? What solved? Don't you see, Jay-Z? They dropped the grass end on themselves, accidentally got miniaturized, and termites carried them off. Voila! Yeah, I knew that. What? We gotta find them. But there are millions of termites all over the African savanna, more than all the mammals combined. And lots of creatures eat termites. Now, they're with the armies of termites heading right into the middle of a predator-prey battle zone. Oh, we gotta find them fast! We'll need some creature power help for this creature rescue. Let's split up. I'll use the power of the termites to infiltrate the colonies and search for them there. And I'll use the powers of termite predators to hunt down as many termites as I can. And I'll just freak out. <sighs> Wait! Termites! Activate termite power! Here I come! Hey guys, ready for another worker in the colony? Okay, I get it. There are already millions of you. But have you seen two girls that smell strangely like savanna grass? Hmm, guess not. Did Aviva add a new feature to this suit? Whoa, my antenna are picking up a termite pheromone. Ah, oh, there it is a pathway of chemical pheromones that shows all the termites the way back to the nest. Okay, termite pals, let's ride this pheromone highway straight to your nest. And hopefully, Aviva and Koki are there. Spider monkeys are cute. Now let's get back to checking out insects, like this one, and do a super bug-sized adventure. Are you kidding me? There's a spider monkey swinging above our heads that is one of the best breakators on the planet. We've got to swing with the spider monkeys. Bug-sized adventure's better. Swing with the spider monkeys. Bug-sized adventure's better. In fact... Where's Chris? Where else? He's climbing. Hey, bro! We can fly around through treetops and get the most incredible up-close and personal look at all sorts of bugs. Like this bug here. Oh, and check it out. When you're bug size, you can get a really good look at his face. He has a long straw-like proboscis that he spears into plant stems. And then he sucks the juice out. All right, Orbit. Nice work on the frame. Now for the sticky stuff. She's already started, Martin. Sticky web spinneret engaged. This new thread has special droplets of sticky stuff attached to it. That's the key to the spider's trap. Wow, attaching it to the frame in a spiral. Round and round she goes. Woo, coming to check it out, Chris. Whoa! Martin! Whoa! Thanks, 
dude. Thanks, Spider Stick. Uh-oh. I'm stuck. Stop moving. Orbit might think you're a captured bug if you struggle too much. Please don't eat me, Orbit. She's done with her web. She's taking her hiding position. The trap is set. No kidding. Incoming. A bee. He's coming in at 32 kilometers per hour, and I don't think he sees the trap. Will the trap hold? Yes, the web held. I could have told you that. Amazing that a few tiny threads can stop a bee in mid-flight. That's nothing. An orb weaver web is strong enough to catch a bird. And the spiders will eat them, too. Uh, speaking of eating, ooh, the first thing she does is stop the bee with her venomous bite. And then she wraps it up, a package of food for the next few days. Hopefully I'm not next. You're next. What? Get every spider you see, Davio. Yes, then, yeah. Davio, no, me first. Uh oh. Ah, oh, oh, Davio. Oh, oh sorry, Danita. Oh. Yikes. Davio, look. Golden silk. I must have it. There. You come to Danita, darling. No. No? Oh, yes, Dario. These are the spiders I need. I'll need millions of them for my golden dress. Get them all! Tortuga, come in. Danita's after all the orb spiders in the forest. We gotta stop her. She took orbit! Oh, no! One more test, and I might have just the thing to help. Cross your fingers. Who hmm? fall? Okay, go! New spinneret prototype ready, and zap! Oh, nice! It even has turbo power! It works! Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's powerful, all right. Uh, okay, I'm convinced. It's like a different planet. Wow, a rare Euroxis. Whoa, lots of Euroxis. Wait a second. How big are you guys right now? What do you mean? I knew it. You're a beetle sized, and that's a creature's fur, not a habitat. Oh, you're right. It is a creature's fur, and we are miniaturized. But it is a habitat, too. A micro habitat that hundreds of bugs call home. See, a lot of them can munch on the algae that grows right here on the fur. That's the ultimate creature link. One creature leads to another creature. Okay, 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 we gotta know. What creature is that? Who are you on? Oh, here he is. Welcome to Planet Three Toed Sloth. Whoa, this is pretty weird. I'm walking inside a tunnel inside a tree. Huh? Oh! Oh, hi there. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your lunch. Wait a second. It's you! You're the one making those strange holes in the tree. You're a tree eater, and I caught you in the act. But who are you? Koki, you getting this? Yeah, Martin. I'm getting an ID on that little creature. What? It says there's no match in the entire database of North American animals. There's no way it's from North America. It's not? It's a UFB? Not a UFB. Oh, yes, a UFB. We've got ourselves an unidentified feeding beetle. Chris, Chris Martin. Martin, we've got an alien beetle invasion on our hands. What? An alien beetle? You mean it's not from here? That's right, it's not. Koki, send out an alert to the Wildcrats kids around the world. See if anyone anywhere knows this beetle. I'm on it. Hmm. But the beetle and the woodpecker, they're both digging holes, right? Yeah, why are the beetle holes so much worse than the woodpecker holes? The beetles are eating the layer right under the bark, the layer that sends water and nutrients to the rest of the tree. That kills the tree. But woodpeckers only make holes in the tree and sometimes even help the trees by eating pests like ants and other bugs inside. 
So woodpeckers don't hurt the trees. That's right. Uh, guys, can you give Headbanger a message for us? Sure, he's right here. Sorry. We thought it was you killing the trees, but it wasn't. He forgives you. Hey, Martin, you okay in there? Are you coming out? I'm trying, Chris, but there's just not much elbow room in here. <gasps> Excuse me, pal, just trying to get through here. Whoa, those are some serious jaws. It's like attack of the tree-eating aliens. Message coming in. It's, it's from the other side of the earth, in China. Tortuga HQ, anything on the alien beetle? Hi, Koki. Yi here. These beetles are aliens for you in North America, but not for me here in China. They're from here. They're Asian longhorn beetles. Hmm. Well, then how did they get here from China? Scientists think they got to North America on ships that were bringing firewood and building timber. Here in China, their natural predators are Asian woodpeckers and wasps. Thanks, Yi. You're welcome, and good luck. But now what? Now that they're here, we've got to stop them from killing all the trees. <sighs> huh? Hey, what's going on? My seeds! What? Moths? Chris, I'm picking up some strange movements ahead. Wait a second. Our trail. It's hatching. Whoa! Those little caterpillars inside the jumping beans transformed into moths. They're leaving the seeds. And check out Elphys. He loves it. He's a master insect hunter. Wait, what's over there? Owl eyes, maximum focus. More moths. Hey, if Jimmy had a whole bag of these jumping beans, then that big swarm of moths could be from his bag. Let's go. Whoa. That's a lot of moths. Ew! Just put them down somewhere, Jay-Z. They're getting everywhere. Ah! Oh. Whoa! Whoa! 